I'm Chantal Shore with this week's Bobcat Rewind. A busy semester is underway here at Jones College with eight teams in action this spring. Our tennis teams are off to a 3-0 start, defeating Marion Military, Etiwamba, and Meridian in dominating fashion. The Bobcats made history last Wednesday with both men's and women's tennis matches being live streamed for the first time ever on jcjc.tv. We'll do it again for our matches against Southwest Mississippi. We're two games into the basketball season after games against Gulf Coast and Pearl River, with two more on deck this Monday and Thursday. Our eighth-ranked Bobcat women are 2-0, while the men are 0-2 with two last-minute losses. Newcomer and Clemson signee Deja Bradford is averaging 15 points and 7.5 and rebounds a game for the women. And Tredavis Thompson is averaging nearly 20 a game for the men. Football National Signing Day is set for Wednesday, February 3rd, and the Bobcats will welcome close to 20 new players to the roster. All but a handful of players return off last year's roster with the NJCAA granting another year of eligibility. Also, in Bobcat football news, congratulations to former linebacker Damian Wilson of the Kansas City Chiefs. The Gloucester, Mississippi native will try to win his second straight world championship ring when the Chiefs take on Tom Brady's Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55 on February 7th. Jones College softball opens the year ranked fourth in the NJCAA and plays familiar Region 23 opponent LSU Eunice to open the season on February 2nd. JC Baseball takes a number 12 ranking into the season opener against Meridian on February 3rd on jcjc.tv. That'll do it for this week's Bobcat Rewind. Be sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and learn more about us at jcbobcats.com. Have a great week, Bobcats.